today we're here at Dollywood for the Harvest Festival and the Great Pumpkin Luminites. Dawn, are you ready? ready. Let's do this. So let's take a look at the schedule here. So for the Harvest Festival, they have world-class artisans scattered throughout. They have the Great Pumpkin Luminites, and that will happen uh, tonight. They also have inspiring entertainment. They have a lot of uh, gospel um, quartets here. And they have featured dining, which will allow you to try five different items with a tasting pass, and it's uh, $39.99 plus tax, or the gold pass holders, and Diamond can get it for $36.99. And they have a lot of crafts made by hand here to take home, make a great gift to somebody. And these are the featured shows. They have Rhonda Vincent and the Rager here. They have Harmonies at Heart. They have the Festival Friends. And this is the current schedule as for today. They have Wild Roots Band, Dreamland Drive-In, and the Tones. And there's always a map of the park where you can find all of your favorite attractions. And they also have a map of the Great Pumpkin Luminites. And I'm super excited for this. One of my favorite uh, events here. And of course, there's some tips and information on the last page. It is a beautiful day here at Dollywood and we are super stoked to see what's new for the 2023 season. That's new. It's like a, a leaf sky. It I'm, kind of looks like a giant candy corn. <laughs> it does look, it's kind of like candy. Colors. Yeah. I imagine it has an official name. We'll try to see if we can find that. We're gonna look around. I heard it has some giant pumpkins. We are gonna get a tasting pass. And we're gonna try some of the foods, some of the seasonal foods. We're gonna get one pass, but it's plenty for us. And they have this leaf sky, I got a fall sky. And like Dawn was saying earlier, it kind of looks like a candy corn, like the colors, yes. So first things first, we're gonna head into the Show Street ice cream shop and get our tasting pass so we can try some of these seasonal goodies. And it looks like there is no wait for the passes. Yeah, I think we, we came at the right time. And here's our 2023 tasting pass. It was $37.64 with the gold card. And we didn't forget our cups. We always forget them, but we didn't today, so that's a plus. They have an ice cream sandwich and a pumpkin spice milkshake. Oh, look at those candied apples. Got little, got little spiders on them. They're just amazing. That looks like a strawberry there. Always great, great treats. And there's nothing like candy corn fudge some worms and some dirt and their rice crispy treats kind of a spooky little spin on them it's apple season here in the smokies these guys are about to get bathed in some caramel hey we got ken with us of course we're dollywood. gonna be do yeah dollywood rich mountain blend coffee great and thankful and blessed And of course, the other day we saw this crazy pumpkin lady um, apron, and they've got some more merchandise out. Thanksgiving, pretty soon we will be celebrating Thanksgiving, and oh, this is all looking really good with the pumpkins, and and you got the that crazy turkey up in there, gobble gobble. And all through the park, they have quotes from Dolly herself. And fall goodness is alive. They have all kinds of harvest sweets to try out. Cupcakes, cookies. Oh my goodness, there's pumpkin cookies. And they have some Rice Krispie treats. All kinds of great goodies in there. It looks like it's got like fruity pebbles. I think they're little leaves. And take a look at these cupcakes. 
It's not too soon to think about Christmas and they do some hand decorated bulbs here. And I got one for pretty much everyone. Teachers, first responders, everything. Now these mums haven't, haven't flowered yet, but when they do, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, sometimes it, you gotta wait a week or two before things really start to take off. Oh my goodness, they moved this big stack of pumpkins over here to Market Square. And this is a great time to take a look at all the merch. That's a cute pumpkin there, this little fluffy candy corn. Got some, some ears here, some pumpkin ears. Oh, they have some flashy pumpkin necklaces. That'd be fun for tonight. It is pumpkin and spice and everything nice here at Dollywood. I'd love this tea. It's got these, the bats flying over the great big stack of pumpkins. And it's kind of like in this purple color. Oh, yeah, they want uh, $25 for it. And they have brought some more merch out since the last time we were here. And uh, yep, it's Harvest Festival here at Dollywood. Lots of great fall teas. And I got a little bit of a little bit of Dolly love here at Dollywood. Of course, it is hot cocoa season. And Dollywood has brought back the great big pumpkins from all over the United States. This one's from Little Valley, New York. It weighs at 604 pounds. This one's from Tazewell, Virginia. That's 455 pounds. And take a look at this. Andy Wolf has grown a 1,074 pound pumpkin. And that's also from Little Valley, New York. They grow some pretty big pumpkins in New York. And this one here is from West Virginia, 857 pounds. Mount Sterling, Kentucky at 621. Oh my goodness, there's a 2,004 pound pumpkin. And it's probably one of the biggest pumpkins I have ever seen. It's from Pennsylvania. They grow pumpkins big up in, up in Pennsylvania. This one here is from Jackson, Ohio at 857 pounds yeah some definitely some big pumpkins here they have a roasted sweet potato a barbecue chicken loaded sweet potato a vegetarian they have a pork belly loaded sweet potato and a pumpkin pie punch potato tornado a twisted dog a salted maple potato tornado and you notice it's got maple they had a couple different items here. I got maple, we got sparkling berry apple cider. So Dawn got the loaded chicken sweet potato. It's got some cheese in there, a um, little sour cream, onion. Looks good, the chicken looks big, doesn't it? Look at that sweet potato. Wow, it looks good. Go ahead and dig in. They give you big pieces of chicken, of chicken breast. Sweet potato. Mm. Is it good? So there is a little bit of barbecue sauce, I notice. The chicken looks pretty good. Sweet potato is done very, very nicely. I like the barbecue sauce. Um, a little bit sweet, but not overpowering. With a little bit of a tang to it. I think it's good. I think highly recommend these sweet potatoes. Now they have different types. They have a vegetarian, they have all these different types to choose from. So there might be one for you. So we also got a brat. It looks like it's on a pretzel bun. It's got some kraut looking good. Comes with a, a side of skillet potatoes, I guess you would call that. And this is huge. I mean, there's a lot there. Of course, Dawn and I are gonna share it. And uh, the pretzel bun looks really, really good. And Ken, he's got one too. <laughs> yeah, let's get into this. Thankful that we shared a pass because 
that there is a lunch for two. Dawn is laughing because she's like, is that purple cabbage? And I go, no, it's purple kraut, right? I don't know. Let's get a side view. So it's a pretzel bun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. So the kraut is like sweet. The pretzel bun is perfect. It's even salted a little. The broth, it, it reminds me of the broth that we had the other day up at Anakista. It's really, really good. You know, the value of this with the, with the tasting pass, I think it's well worth it. Mm. I don't know. It's like sweet, but smoked. We have like mixed, confused feelings. Taters, onions, green peppers. It's pretty much what they serve here all the time. Really good. And they have a pumpkin pie funnel cake. A 376 pound white pumpkin. And this one's weighing at 1,427. Oh, Dawn. It's, you're gonna, it's gonna be all over the ground. Oh. I guess I won. <laughs> well, I I don't know how you actually win. I, I don't know. There's a lot of those great big gigantic pumpkins all through here. Way more than they ever had. It's pretty cool to walk through and check out the size of these gargantuan pumpkins. And over here they do handmade historic games. Hmm. These are... Yeah, your your grandfather did. Yeah, he had his own wood, wood carving business. Wood yes. Yeah. We're heading to Laurel Home Goods here. See if they got any pumpkin decor. Yeah. It looks like they do. All kinds of fun things for the fall season that little squirrel got his nut <laughs> and they they make these right here at, at Dollywood these little pumpkins up at the the glass blowers and you can find them throughout the park as well and it's hard to be a diamond in a rhinestone world Yeah, they got velvet pumpkins for $30. They're really, really cool. Dollywood is an amazing place from pumpkins to Dolly's humble beginnings. There's a little bit of everything here. Goodness is alive. Yeah, harvest pulled pork sandwich. You have a chicken smoked sausage gumbo and wassail and this lady here makes the most amazing reese she also watches our channel and you can see she's already sold a lot of them oh wow that one there is really really neat yeah, yeah and she says that it takes her months and months and months to get ready for dollywood making all these Wonderful Reese. Look at that one there at the bear. and pumpkins galore it's amazing they have pumpkin sausage ricotta flatbread it's got it's got pumpkin seeds so it's Italian sausage, toasted pumpkin, whole milk, ricotta cheese, and Parmesan. 
And this looks really good. I might come back and try this at another time. We're over at Miss Lillian's Barbecue Corner and they have a Harvest Pulled Pork Loaded Mac and Cheese and a Three Bean Pumpkin Chili. Yeah, they got some really cool decorations in here, some pretty cool sayings, right? Yeah, hooked on you. And they're from Mississippi. Come here and can decorate your porch a little bit, right? There's a 10 minute wait for Big Bear Mountain. Yeah, I think we're gonna ride. So this is the pumpkin ricotta cheese pizza and we got over here at Lumberjack Pizza here and it looks good. It's got some looks like some pumpkin seeds on there some sausage uh, a little pumpkin um, sauce right mm -hmm. and some ricotta cheese I'm looking looking good go for it it's got a really good flavor it's gonna taste a little bit of the pumpkin sauce and i like the pumpkin seeds on it the crunch. pumpkin seeds it gives it like a crunchiness it gives you a little crunch mm -hmm. i think i had this before and it's the right size nice and crispy in the bottom Now, you gotta you got ride the Dollar Express, right? Alrighty, folks, we're starting to head back to the village crossing. We're doing the same thing as we did as we were rolling. 
and they've shut down Dolly's closet over here and they're doing doing renovations this is gonna be a whole new area when it's when it's finished and uh, yeah they put up this fence here and we're putting wings on our dreams so a few hours has passed we were just sitting around talking to some friends and it's starting to get dark out we're gonna head back to all the pumpkin fun that's gonna be happening here shortly so Ken and I were just talking do we like the pumpkins here or did we like them in the back I mean it looks good here we both agreed on that but but then again in the back it's kind of missing something right so but there it is and these guys here are spooky and happy and a little bit of everything they all glow in different colors definitely a focal point especially that crazy pumpkin way at the top you know these guys are up to no good whatsoever. So do you do you like the the stack of pumpkins here? Yeah, I think it looks good because when we walk in the park, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Put in the com put in the comments below if you like it here or did you like it in the back. Ah, and Pumpkin Luminites is about to start. And this is not scary. Nobody's gonna jump out and, and scare you. It's just, a, it's a really great atmosphere. It puts you in the spirit without getting scared. Of course, I think the majority of these pumpkins are scared of themselves more than they're out to scare people, right? <laughs> so I think, the scare, I think the pumpkins are scared of themselves, to be honest with you. Where to look? Oh, it's Adventures it. That Rock, guys, on YouTube. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, yeah, you're here. Wow, that's awesome. Guys, gotta go check out their channel. Put a link in the description below. Thank you, you guys, so much. You guys are doing some great stuff out there. I just wanted to, to tell you. So, yeah, that's Thank awesome. You. And the sun has set over the 1,400 and 27 pound pumpkin here at Dollywood. It's about to begin. Hoot Owl Hollow. And there's all these white pumpkins and they they have owls carved into them the queen of them all amazing all white pumpkins I love the the music too with the owls hooting And we have been doing the Great Pumpkin Luminites for how many years now? It's been six, seven years. Something, I remember the very first one. And I was totally amazed. And still, still amazed today. So this is where our journey begins tonight. There's over 12,000 pumpkins throughout the park. And it's back again dolly's guitar playing always always playing a couple of her tunes on there <laughs> and the pumpkins are the stars of this show <laughs> uh, look at their facial expressions they're, they're happy, they're happy pumpkins. 
and everything's a glow. Of course, you have Blazing Fury. And when you're in the south, you gotta have pumpkin quilts. Look at that, they, they change color. Now these crazy owls are up to no good. Very, very terrifying. And one of the favorites here is this huge pumpkin spider. His legs flash and yeah. And Fire Chaser Express looks like it's it's on fire. And those nutty squirrels are at it again. Of course, they have their their own pumpkins. And Crazy Charlie looks like he's got that crazy firework stand yep. on fire again. On fire! Yes, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> and these guys look like they're having a good time just sitting around doing a little, little chat. But the pumpkins in that window look kind of scary. Hello. Hello. Even Crazy Charlie has got a few pumpkins over here. Yeah, he's definitely suave, right? Suave. Would you like to hold Harvey's hand? Oh, sure. Perfect. I'll take your arm, Harvey. And we have the wallflowers. I think they're dandelions. A couple maple leaves over there. by Mystery Mine. And these are the bat pumpkins. And nothing like Wild Wood Grove. Children's laughter and parents' delight 
is added to the celebration in the grove each special night. HGTV was here earlier today and they were filming an episode with that lady that carves the pumpkins for, for a future video. You have to ch check that out. We'll, we'll all have to check that out. And all the forest animals are displayed in these mountains and Dawn says she likes this chipmunk. this chipmunk right there it's cute right yep. there's a skunk over there is there a skunk yes. oh yeah there's a rabbit and then there's a bambi right yep. and then of course the skunk now you know there's this thing called the Christmas skunk right yep <laughs> <laughs> Oh, During Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> now, even the possum pumpkins are hanging from the tree. And even Big Bear Mountain has their own pumpkins and, and they they love bears. And they're in search of Big Bear around these parts. In a clearing deep in the forest. Under the mist of the beautiful smoky mountains grows the ancient wildwood tree. Now those guys up there look like they're having fun. And the frog pumpkins are always a favorite. And they'll even wink at you. And our favorite the disco pumpkins. Yeah, they're they're getting down, Dawn. Mm -hmm. Last year they played thriller. Yeah. And they're they're having a good time. <laughs> no bites of dust. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. I think it's the boogeyman. <laughs> oh wow, look at that, yes. I think they're playing your song. It is my song. Do, 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 do. Who are you gonna call? Ken!
wow, a lot of fun. It's one of those things you gotta see in person. And last but not least, the great big butterfly pumpkin. And we were looking all over for it last year and it's back in all of its glory. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with us here at Dollywood. We hope you come back and visit us again real soon. And remember, we should all dream more, learn more, care more, and be more. Well, that was the great Pumpkin Luminites and the Harvest Festival. What did you think? I enjoyed it. It was... I've seen those luminous lights with the pumpkins. Yeah. Of course, it's always a blast. They moved the big stack of pumpkins to the front of the park. That's new. And Harvey was out being Harvey as always. Um, it's a blast, you know. Uh, not a lot has changed from previous years, except for the big butterfly pumpkin is back. We also got to hang out with our friend Ken tonight. We met a lot of people today. A lot of folks. A lot of people said hi to us. Thank you all so much for stopping and just saying hi. It means a lot to us. But folks, that's going to do it for tonight here at Dollywood. If you guys like this vlog, Give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. We're heading to 92,000 subscribers. We got a giveaway already in the making. Until next time, thanks for watching. Good night. Everyone. Good night, everyone. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> no, they got they got some really cool teas. Now these I didn't see anywhere else in the park, but they're here on our exit. Spiders, but he's cute. He's a cute spider. And look at these little bears down here. The pumpkins. Oh, and then there's a great big owl. And they have a lot of nifty uh, plush uh, candy corns are always fun. Oh boy, it's a glitter hat. That's a lot of glitter, right? Yeah, too much glitter. Too much. I have never seen this shirt. Dolly is the queen of hearts. The queen of hearts. That's per a perfect play. A perfect, perfect for her, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know you had a good night when you're one of the last cars left in the parking lot. <laughs>